Welcome to Z Code System, Drew here, and this week we're talking about the Women's World Cup, which is about to kick off later this month here in July, and it's going to be an exciting time, especially if you are a fan of women's soccer, especially women's international soccer. The tournament should not disappoint this season as we get ready for that to come up. And as you can see there, the U.S. women's national team, they won the most recent Women's World Cup, which took place back in 2019, and geez, a lot has happened since that tournament took place we've obviously had the COVID-19 pandemic and there's been lots of different things go on we've even had a men's world cup just last year so the women's tournament will be kicking off later this month july the 20th that's a thursday and it'll be taking place in new zealand so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about the outright winners odds coming up for the tournament and take a look at uh, some different things going on upcoming tournament all right guys let's get to it before we talk about the Women's World Cup even further, though, be sure to go over to Z Code System. Sign up today to get access to all of the different systems we have there, picks and the previews that you can find. Of course, you can get a lot of free information that we post there. Just scroll through the website and check everything out. There's going to be a blog to go along with this video posted up there on the website. So just you can go there and read a lot of great information that I wrote about that. And of course, on the YouTube page, you can always find uh, up-to-date videos for picks, predictions, and previews that we post on the reg. All right, guys, so let's take a look at some of the outright winner's odds coming up for the Women's World Cup later this month. Okay, as you can see there, I am using William Hill. You can use your favorite online betting site, but I'm using William Hill today to show you the different outright winner's odds coming up for the Women's World Cup. Now, as I said before, the tournament kicks off on Thursday, July the 20th, and it will run until Sunday, uh, August the 23rd, I believe it is, or the 20th, 23rd, around that time. So it's going to be a four-week tournament, uh, the best women's national teams playing down under in Australia as well as in New Zealand. The two countries are going to co-host the the tournament and you know there's been a lot of arguments over uh how well this tournament will be watched but i think it will be watched by a, a lot of fans sports fans soccer fans especially uh despite the time difference in australia and new zealand and as you can see there we've got the usa already being tipped as the upcoming winner of the um, Women's World Cup. They are at plus 225. Now, just to note, their price has decreased since March when uh, I last wrote about the Women's World Cup for Z Code System. They were plus mm -hmm. 300 at the time. Now, oh, yeah. interestingly, England and Spain are still at the same odds that they were just a couple of months ago, but the USA, they have uh, decreased in their prices. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one of those reasons is bookmakers uh, are, you know, moving towards thinking the U.S. will win the tournament, and as well as we've already seen betters putting their money towards the U.S. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you know on a little secret. The U.S. have won the last two tournaments. They are a four-time Women's World Cup winner, and I think that they will pick up the trophy in New Zealand and Australia. I'm going to go ahead and give you that as my prediction. Um, I think the U.S. are uh, going to hit their, hit their best moment at that um, when they get to the tournament, because there are a few reasons for this. The USA do play in a, many of the, the women play in a domestic league in the US, the NWSL. And while the competition may be not necessarily as high and as grueling as those leagues in Europe is in England or Spain or Germany, uh, it gets the, the, uh, the women's team, the players ready to play and uh, keeps them fit and in form. Now, the, the England national team, which is coming off of winning the European Championship last year, which was a, their first major trophy, um, the England team is suffering quite a few injuries. If you look at Spain, the team has had some off-field issues with the coaching staff as well as the players. Um, a lot of differences of opinion, I guess you could say, between those two groups. And it's causing a bit of a, a wedge uh, between them right now. And uh, you know, Spain uh, will be going into this tournament um, perhaps not with their full strength team uh, this year. And, uh, you know, if there is a team that I could identify as a team that could surprise a few people, uh, that is Australia. They're going to be playing on home soil. Um, they have a great player in Sam Kerr. She plays for Chelsea uh, in the Women's Super League in England, uh, and she is a fantastic goal scorer. And I could see this Australia team really making a run through the tournament 
and reaching the semi-finals uh, at the uh, at the tournament. Um, but I think that this could be a team that will could surprise quite a few people um, this year. Now, this tournament, this year's Women's World Cup, will expand to 32 teams from 24 previously. And as you can see there, there are some long odds on a few of these teams. Uh, Haiti plus 50,000, South Africa plus 100,000. So because of the uh, addition of these teams, uh, we're going to see most likely a bit of a dilution in the quality of teams here. Now, previously, we would see the top two teams in each group qualify for the second round for the for the knockout stages, plus the four best third place teams. Now, we're just going to see the top two teams in each group progress to the knockout rounds. Now, potentially, because of the addition of teams, the group stage may not see too many uh, major upsets, or you you know you'll see the top teams go through to the knockout stages. Uh, and the good thing is that you will see the better teams, the best teams, uh, reaching the knockout stages and playing knockout soccer uh, in the in the uh, round of sixteen, quarterfinals, semifinals, and the final. Now, again, like I said, I think the U.S. will pick up the trophy in Eng uh, excuse me, in Australia and New Zealand, uh, but I think Australia can do some good things and surprise a few people. Now, you can go over to your favorite sports book and make an outright winner's bet uh, today on uh, on the Women's World Cup, and you can always stay up to date on everything that happens in the Women's World Cup at Z-Code System. I'll be posting blogs and videos throughout the tournament, and you can also sign up today so you can get the latest uh, picks and predictions for the Women's World Cup. So, guys, I hope you enjoy the tournament down in Australia and New Zealand. I'm getting ready for it. I'm getting excited for it. It is just about 16 days away, so should be a good time, and I hope you enjoy it too. We'll see you soon, guys, here on Z-Code System.